Hello everyone, this is Diego Vassar from Bad Conveyor Studios, creator of AC-130 Gunship Simulator Special Ops Squadron, which is what you are seeing on your screen right now. Um, everywhere uh, people see my game, uh, well, uh, game programmers see my game, um, they keep asking me how did I achieve the um, the flare camera look, um, you know, the black and white imagery with uh, with heat signatures, uh, white being hotter, uh, black being uh, you know darker, being uh, being colder. And um, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is actually the technique to do it. I'm not going to show you specifically how to do everything because uh, those are things that you should know. And, and if you don't, um, there are some really great uh, tutorials on, on how to achieve everything I, uh, I'm showing right, right now. Um, so um, let's get right into it. And um, what you were seeing are uh, basically uh, three uh, techniques. Um, one of them is uh, for the characters. Um, you know, you can kind of see them around here uh, in the editor. Um, then the second technique uh, is what I'm using for uh, vehicles, like this one here. That's a that's a Type 63 tank. Um, and then uh, the third technique is uh, what I'm using for other stuff like, uh, well, like the terrain, for example, and uh, and the trees and vegetation and um, and houses, buildings and stuff like that. So, um, well, the first uh, thing you're um, we're going to discuss is um, the characters themselves. So here we got the this little guy here and uh, that guy is a an enemy rifleman a Viet Cong enemy rifleman and uh, um, you probably notice that the guy is not very 3D-ish and that is because he's not actually uh, characters in the game are sprites uh, that is uh, to be able to save performance um, so as you can see this guy uh, is a sprite and uh, he is already painted um, in black and white with uh, you know the heat signatures and, and everything right there inside the texture and uh, if I can find it um, here is the texture for one of the animations well actually a couple of animations for this guy um, so yeah here it is um, the guy running and that's what you were seeing um, in the game uh, previously um, so that is how I achieve, uh, you know, um, the flare look uh, for the characters. Uh, I just paint them in black and white, uh, give them a little glow, uh, so so you now they are shining like in real flare cameras, um, and that's it. And and then in, this is a texture atlas, and you just um, create an animation from uh, the to the character. Again, I'm not going to show you how to do that. There are great tutorials out there. So uh, you know, just if you don't know how to do it, just go ahead and and check those out. Um, so that's uh, for the first part of the technique uh, for the characters. Now the second one is probably more um, mundane, which is um, how I do terrain and things like the trees and, and all that. And um, that is just because I'm. Um, those are just meshes. Um, well, the terrain obviously is, is you know a Unity terrain, standard Unity terrain. Um, and for example, the tree is a mesh, and again, this mesh is a textured mesh, and um, and you know I'm just using a uh, a mobile semi you know mobile texture with with alpha, um, so uh, it's so the leaves are kind of transparent and you can see through them, um, but basically it's just mesh that is textured with a black and white texture with the heat signatures already in them. So there is really not much science to it. Um, let me see if I can find the model the model around here and. Uh, and here it is. This is the um, the palm tree that you're that you were seeing. Um, 
you know, it's, it's just a regular mesh. And uh, here on the left is the, the texture applied to the UV, and I was in edit mode, so you could see um, which how, how the UV is mapped to the to the mesh. Um, but really, there's not much science to it. Um, it's just regular texture painted in, in black and white. Um, again, then you have the um, you know the, the, the things I use for for terrain, the textures I use for for terrain. That's um, that's somewhere around here, which is again a texture painted in black and white. Uh, I think I got this one of uh, I think it's texturedmate.com. Uh, it is heavily reworked, uh, but you know this is just just some texture that I uh, that I painted. Um, black and white where I thought there were heat signatures and uh, and then I uh, tiled it so uh, so the tiles you know that you wouldn't notice the tiles and um, and that's really it and then applied it to the to the terrain it's somewhere around here one of these uh, I think it's this one uh, and, and yeah so that's that's it um, so that's it for the second technique, which is basically a textured mesh, um, nothing out of the ordinary. Now, um, for the third technique, which is uh, probably the one that you're going to say, hey, that's smart or something like that, but it really it isn't uh, something that's spectacular either, is I, um, what I do for the vehicles. Uh, I had set up the uh, the CSU 23 AAA Shilka to show you how uh, that is done, and uh, you can see that this tank already has uh, heat signatures painted on it. Um, and you can see that the, the wheels that are supposed to have more friction are uh, are hotter, and they're, therefore they're they're uh, they're clearer, they're more white. And then the the main gun is extremely white because it's supposed to be extremely uh, hot from firing and shooting all that hot lead at the enemy. And then you have uh, some parts that are supposedly cooler. Uh, like that uh, cold metal on the side of the vehicle and uh, on the top and, and where things not, not many things happen and uh, here you can see that there is a part that is wider and that is where the engine is supposed to be uh, in the CDC tuna free shield car I've done a lot of research on that uh, really a lot um, so yeah I, I have this um, this vehicle with all its heat signatures and these are not textures this is actually um, vertex painted uh, with vertex colors uh, so the the colors are painted right into the model um, and let me see if I can find here it is um, the Citus U23 shield cam model and you can see it's just pretty much a regular model, a very, very low poly model. And um, oh. so if I go to uh, the vertex paint part of, uh, of Blender, uh, you can see that uh, that's by, by pressing B, uh, just in case you don't, you don't know that. Um, and you can see that the colors are already painted there. Uh, here's the... Um, the vertex uh, color, um, you know, whatever this is, information. And uh, well, so I just paint on the thing, you know, that's when it's, it's all white when you start painting the thing. And uh, well, then I just go and select a color, you know, gray, where I think that, that the thing is going to be uh, cooler. And uh, Let's paint this a bit, you know, and yeah, I should actually improve the strength for this. Uh, and uh, well, this is darker, and and then I leave the gun in white, and uh, you know the wheels are all white too, and then I change a bit, and and you know I make some parts that are a bit, uh, you know, clearer. Uh, so you can kind of see the 3D on them, and that's how I do it. I just, uh, you know, just paint the whole thing, um, 
and then in uh, you know this you save this you go to um, you put it in unity and um, the only thing that you have to know is that uh, the uh, cities u23 now with its vertex painting uh, all you have to do is actually use a shader uh, that supports uh, vertex colors um, here uh, let me see here it is you know this is my uh, shader uh, with um, with this uh, mobile lit vertex color uh, shader which is extremely simple uh, I can't that stress that enough um, uh, let me see if I can find uh, mobile lit vertex color uh, that's it um, so this is the code for for the shader. I have a uh, uh, well, it's just one pass uh, with uh, where you have the uh, texture uh, applied supposedly, uh, you know, the, the primary involved, and uh, then I just use a constant color to give it uh, maybe a more or less brightness. Um, and that's just it. Um, you're going to notice uh, this uh, variable here that is inverse dimming and I'm going to show you um, real quick uh, why I have this variable here. Uh, it's not in use uh, here in this, uh, you know, for this particular shader, but um, the thing is that FLIR cameras have two modes. They have uh, the the W hot mode. Can, kind of, you can kind of see it here, W hot mode, and they have the B hot mode, um, which means that uh, you know the W hot mode is uh, the white hot. So uh, in the camera, white is hot, and uh, and black is uh, well, and dark is um, cooler. And then you can invert that. And you have the uh, B hot mode, the black hot mode, where black is hot and white means cooler. And I'm going to show you how that works uh, real quick. I'm going to just run, uh, run the game, and we wait for a bit. And it's loading, and it's almost here. And okay, here it is. Um, so uh, here you can see everything I got him right there. in W hot mode, uh, and I'm going to switch that to B hot mode. So that pretty much inverse colors. So where you were seeing that white engine on the on the shield case actually now um, it's black because the colors are inverted. Um, so what I do to achieve this is I just um, switch the shader for uh, for all objects uh, since they're mostly shared I just have to change three or four uh, shaders three or four materials and that's it and everything just changes colors and uh, what I do is just um, I have this mobile lit vertex color shader so I uh, switch it into uh, lit inverse vertex color which is uh, something um, that you know it's, it's the shader that just inverts colors and the the programming part is pretty much the same uh, they're almost exactly uh, the same actually I copy pasted most of the thing and I'm going to go to edit mode again and here it is, mobile lit inverse vertex color. And you're going to notice that it's pretty much the same. It has some adjustments for brightness for my particular game. Um, but I don't know if you're going to need that for, for whatever it is you're doing. But uh, the magic happens right around here, uh, which is that um, I take the primary color and I just invert it. It's, uh, I put one minus primary and that just inverts color, and you know, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so that's the size of it, and whatever vertex color was coming as white is going to come out as black. 
So I guess I pretty much covered uh, everything uh, that you need to know to create a flare camera effect. Um, at least for uh, for mobile. Uh, this keep in mind that this is for mobile, so uh, I try to be um, as careful as possible with uh, with using extra resources that I don't need for my particular game. Uh, in your case, you might need some different solutions, something more sophisticated. But as you can see, this is extremely simple. So that's it. Um, if you want to see more of, uh, of the game itself, my work, uh, you can uh, visit, uh, visit my website. That's uh, www.byteconveyor, just as seen in the screen, .com. Um, and you're going to see videos and images of the game. Well, I hope you found, you found this helpful, and uh, I'll probably see you around in the Unity forums. Goodbye.